Srebrenica, the scene of the worst mass killing on European soil since World War II, and part of what the UN says was a campaign of genocide. But 20 years on, what do we know about what happened? July 1995, tens of thousands of Bosnian Muslims had fled a Bosnian Serb army offensive and were under siege in Srebrenica, today's eastern Bosnia. The area was meant to be a UN safe zone and was protected by about 600 lightly armed Dutch peacekeepers. But on the 6th of July, the Bosnian Serb army began advancing, taking some peacekeepers hostage and within days they'd entered Srebrenica itself. The Bosnian Serb army demanded that the Bosnian Muslim fighters hand over all their weapons in exchange for safety. They then took aside men aged between 12 and 77 for what they said would be interrogation. The first killings began just two days later. In all, over 8,000 Bosnian Muslims were killed in just five days and over 23,000 women and children were forcibly deported with reports of widespread torture and rape. Even now, 20 years on, victims are still being identified and reburied. While Serbia has apologised for what it said was a crime, it denies that the killings were a systematic attempt to eradicate a people, in other words, a genocide.